Well, it's hard to think of anyone more positively Baltimore than our own Stan Stovall. This past week, Stan anchored his final newscast here at Channel 11, capping off a remarkable 50 plus year broadcast career. 11 News anchor Deb Wiener takes a look back at his accomplishments and the legacy he leaves behind in our newsroom. There is so much broadcast history to Stan Stovall, you could write a book on it, or at least fill a book with it. Classic photographs that tell the story of a legend with a footprint that includes thousands of local newscasts. He is the patriarch of local television news in Baltimore, leading generations of viewers through the highs and lows of daily life. You know, before we saw a full-on riot in Baltimore, there was unrest. Social media, you recall, Donna, post gay police, sort of a heads up that teenagers had planned right. what they called a purge or a day of lawlessness. Anchoring the news since the tender age of 18. I was now the youngest news anchor in the United States. It was the adventure of a lifetime. Burmese government troops being captured. You want anchors who have lived a little bit. He's really got a depth of experience that's unbelievable. Good evening, everybody. I'm Stan Stovall. When we're in breaking news, Stan has never let the viewers down. Stan has interviewed countless newsmakers, attacking subjects with a keen understanding of history and context. You know, this whole discussion about uh, decriminalizing and uh, prosecution of marijuana, yeah. this has got to seem like an old Yogi Berra line, deja vu <laughs> all over again for you. From the elevation of Cardinal Keeler in Rome. At honorem Dei omnipotentis. To the inauguration of the first black president in the nation's capital. Hey, I say to you that the challenges we face are real. To six months in the Burmese jungle combat zones of what is now Myanmar. Stan has enjoyed his front row to history. But Stan has made history himself as the first black TV news reporter in Arizona, a journey that led to prominent roles in St. Louis. Tonight, an era in St. Louis television history is coming to an end this week. And Philadelphia. Most of his career, though, has been spent in Baltimore at WBAL. Then over to WMAR, and then back to WBAL-TV to round out his career. In the newsroom, Stan is a stickler for details, reviewing news copy carefully and inquisitively. All right, so we've got our boxes loaded up now. We've Stan's got first love, though, has always been the community, with organizations like Camp Opportunity, the beneficiary of countless hours of his time, even at the height of the pandemic. Hi, how are you? When we arrive at their home, we follow a strict social distancing protocol. The secret about Stan is he rarely says no when asked to MC local events. It was certainly my honor to serve as the master of ceremonies for tonight's event. And then there was the polar bear plunge and a kind of Stan camp. Hold that for okay. me. All right, is this it? That's I gotta it. go now? You go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! For a while, cold seemed to be a theme for Stan. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Oh, 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 man, that is cold. Fitness buff, occasional goofball, and most of all, trusted anchorman. And as one person said, he's the reason the position is called anchor. Recently inducted into the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences prestigious Gold Circle, a journalism hall of fame. It was for how much Stan has given to our profession and the community over the last 52 plus years. Well, as a young African-American male growing up through the civil rights struggles of the 1950s and the 1960s, I had no idea a career in television was even possible. We salute Stan Stovall for blazing the trail with an always steady hand cool head and comforting presence. And when you have a career like Stan's, there's no shortage of accolades, but this one could essentially charm city. If you drive by Falls Road and 40th Street, you'll see the salt box emblazoned with Stan's likeness and the phrase Mr. Marilyn on there. There's even a nod to Stan's love of bodybuilding. Artist Juliet Ames told 11 News that Stan is a legend and legends get salt boxes. And we wish that legend well. That's all for this edition of 11 TV Hill. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.